taser? Seriously? What is this? 1998 WCW? You were the one who brought in the literal undead demon to fight me as a raiding stunt. I think a little fighting fire with fire was justified. Well, it was embarrassing for the brand. Your big moment of triumph ended with Roman Reigns burying my champion deeper than you buried Kane. Then maybe Roman ought to come back and try his luck. I would love that. Roman is must-see. The only must-see thing about you is the target on your back. I'm the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Miz. There's always a target on my back. Yeah, there is. Everyone in that locker room is circling you like sharks because they can taste the blood in the water. Roman's right. You're just champion. For now. I guess we'll find out, boss. See you next week. And after all was said and done, Becky Lynch won the WWE Women's Championship. The man is once again the man, and the WWE Universe could not be happier. The same can't be said on Raw, where the World Heavyweight Championship has been moving around like a hot potato. Well, if you want championship consistency, look no further than SmackDown. General Manager The Miz has been obsessed with dethroning the WWE Universal Champion, but the man many call the Dark Horse has now become the workhorse, turning back every challenge. If he successfully defends the title against Drew McIntyre in a Falls Count Anywhere match at SummerSlam, he will have been champion for a full year. Speaking of championship streaks, Gunter will look to continue his amazing run as the longest running intercontinental champion of all time at SummerSlam when he defends his title. The following contest is a Falls Count And there he is, the man who's blazing his trail through. <laughs> Introducing the challenger from Ayer, Scotland, weighing in. That's what it's all about, the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The WWE Universe knows all about the history, the lineage, everything that goes into the importance of this match. As the champ reaches 365 days with his title, can you think of a champion who's had a tougher year? Well, he's getting it from all sides. The Miz has won the title off of him since day one. No one said this would be easy. I'm shocked the so-called Dark Horse has had the title for a year. Almost a year? He has to get past Drew McIntyre tonight in this brutal Falls Count Anywhere match. He leaves the ring and there's no count outs in this one. Oh, clobbered by the steps. That'll make you reassess some things. Oh, diamond plate and steel coming at you. McIntyre must be getting phased by this attack. Rarely do we see Drew get disassembled like this. Back straight into the post on the outside. And he kicks his opponent away. A face buster knee smash. That looks painful. Slam! What's he open to find down there? Oh boy, come on, not the chair. And there was some force on that move. Boom! Oh my gosh, any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. Into a max slam. He's certainly looking in command at the moment. It's a sign he's got his opponent figured out. Good defense. A bad place to be for the challenger. 
And with the falls count anywhere stipulation, you have to be extra careful as you get more and more worn down. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. Each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. Drew fending him off. And did you hear the impact of that? You better have an aptitude for pain because it just keeps coming. And it is clear the mission now is to destroy and incapacitate. He avoids the damage. He returns to the ring. And he has free reign to the outside with no countouts to worry about. McIntyre is getting dismantled. Drew doesn't usually allow his opponents to gain this much confidence. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. Muscled up for the gory special. Oh, wait, wait a second. Legs first. Is it enough? The cover. Two count retains. No challenger kicks out. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. He is getting shredded apart right now. In this situation, he has to get resourceful. Able to capitalize on McIntyre's mistake. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. Ooh, eats a big right. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Stiff elbow will break that up. And the champ retains. Here is your winner. If you told me a year ago that you would still be WWE Universal Champion, I wouldn't have believed it. I am delighted to disappoint you. Am I disappointed? You're a draw. For some reason, people seem to like you. It's just that damn insistence on doing the exact opposite of everything I say that drives me nuts. I've never been great with authority. How long are we going to keep doing this? I am the most must-see general manager in SmackDown's history. You're the WWE Universal Champion with all the momentum. So what if we work together instead of being at each other's throats? Because this right now, this feels like yet another trap you're trying to spring. I don't trust you. Call it a choice between the carrot and the stick. The carrot is, I make you into a cross-platform superstar like WWE has never seen. Of course, you'll need to have a bit of an attitude change and be willing to get your hands dirty. Okay, and what's the stick? The stick is, reject my offer, and if you think it's been a hard year, you can't even imagine what's coming next. After what I'll put you through, you will never escape Roman's shadow. Interesting. Maybe that's exactly what I'd do. Escape his shadow and yours too. What the hell does that mean? What it means is I hear NXT is a really cool brand. Never been. Maybe I take the undisputed WWE Universal Championship, head down to NXT, and go after the title that Roman never won. What? You have a contract. You can't just walk off my show. I don't know. After this past year, I think I've shown I can do just about whatever I want. Fine. You have a choice to make. Work with me and have everything you've ever dreamed of. Or... I make you regret ever becoming a WWE superstar.
You know what, Miz? You're a devious SOB. And maybe that's a side of myself I need to tap into to get out of Roman's shadow. Let's do it. Yes! That is what I'm talking about! I knew you had ambition. We are going to rule the galaxy and everything beyond! If you say so. The point is, I have big plans for you. You're about to become a major crossover star. Tell me something. Do you like video games? Champ, I've been looking for you. Woods. Yeah, I saw your text. Sorry, Miz has me super busy with a bunch of, uh, champ stuff. You know how it is. I mean, or at least you know how half of it is, because you were a tag champ. I'm gonna ignore that for now, because what I wanted to talk to you about is that you are stealing from me. Stealing? What? Don't play dumb with me. I'm talking about the show. The video game show? Look, it's totally different than yours. What's my show called? Up, Up, Down, Down. And what is your show going to be called? It's, well, Down, Up, Down, Up. That's the same show. You and Miz stole my IP and barely even had the decency to change the name. Uh, we don't even spell the name out. It's with arrows. With arrows? Are you kidding me? You need to relax. Down Up, Down Up, but with arrows, hasn't even premiered yet. Miz is still looking for my co-host. How are you going to judge before we even start? Because this is plagiarism. I've spent years building this show and brand, and you just step in and rip it off? You and me are going to have to sort this out. Woods, we'll deal with this. But I am the undisputed WWE Universal Champion in the face of SmackDown. So we'll talk sometime after my next match. Oh! You'll be able to slot me into all your champ stuff? We'll see. It's the Warrior who's followed a dusty trail from the Frit. Introducing the challenger from Birmingham, England. I have a feeling we're about to see a classic, gentlemen. You can see the desire in these competitors' eyes reflected right back at them in the shine of that championship's gold. We've heard rumblings that our WWE Universal Champion has come to a bit of understanding with the Miz. If that's true, I commend him for finally seeing the light. Well, he better not be too distracted with backstage politics. Otherwise, Butch will take his title here tonight. What an interception! Spectacular counter into a dragon screw. Bam! Ooh! Ooh! Uh oh! And Butch fending him off. is on the springboard. All the way up. 
from the crash landing powerbomb. Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. Ooh, jarring European uppercut. Yeah, Butch seemingly stopped in his tracks, Scott. Is this a special episode of Up, Up, Down, Down? Our champ's new relationship with The Miz is already ruffling some people's feathers. In this case, it's Xavier Woods. Oh, impressive counter. And a clothesline. An overbearing amount of offense against Butch here. Butch has to wake up and get going in a hurry. Butch turns that away. Scoreboard pinning combination. Oh, maybe not. When the champ wants to prove a point, nothing does it like a powerbomb. Oh, clothesline. Butch looking forward for the bitter end. The champ's eyes look glazed over. And the count doesn't even begin. He didn't even let the ref start the count. I can't tell if it's anger in the eyes of the fact that he hasn't finished this or if it's disbelief that his opponent is still in this. Slam! <laughs> Muscle up for the gory special. Oh, wait, wait a second. Flatline! Yikes! Cover! Two! Got it! And the champ adds to their legacy. Here is your winner, 